Welcome to A Minute or Two with the Word. I'm your host, Torah teacher Ariel, where every few days we take a look at a relevant passage of Scripture that I find very fascinating and important for us to consider as Jews and Gentiles in Messiah. Let's talk about Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. This is ESV. Therefore, Whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now, I know, among Christians and Messianics, we usually focus on verse 17 about Jesus, Yeshua, explaining that he didn't come to abolish the law of the prophets, but he came to fulfill them. And we all usually ask ourselves, what does he mean to fulfill? Does that mean that I don't have to keep them anymore? Or does that mean that Yeshua came to set them on a proper understanding so that I could actually walk in them? We're not going to talk about verse 17 today. Instead, I want to look at verse 19. Indeed, in verse 17, it seems like we're focusing on Yeshua's impact to the commandments. But let's talk about my responsibility to them in verse 19. Hmm, I have to scratch my head. What does this verse mean about least and great in the kingdom of heaven? Is there a reward system that he's perhaps talking about? Maybe the Greek will help me figure this verse out. The Greek says, Hos in un luce mien ton entalon, tu ton ton lakiston, kai de daxe hutos tus anthropus, elakistas kletesetai in te basilea, ton uranon. Hos de an poiese kai de daxe, hutas megas kletesetai in te basilea ton uranon. Well, I'm not sure if that helped out or not, but it is nice to be able to go back and look and see exactly which word means what from the Greek text. I think it's safe to say that Yeshua is explaining to us that the commandments as a whole require our whole heart, our whole mind, and our whole being. Remember what we talked about last time in Deuteronomy chapter 6? Well, God requires our whole heart, and he wants us to be completely sold out to him and completely committed to him. He doesn't want us to cherry pick the commandments into what seems to be greatest and what seems to be least so that we can figure out what the reward system is. Indeed, I'm not exactly sure all the parameters behind what Yeshua means behind least in the kingdom and great in the kingdom. But I do know this. I do want to be great in my master's eyes. I don't want him to look at me and say, Ariel, you're least. You're in the kingdom, but you're least. So in closing today, let's strive to be great in our master's eyes. Let's strive to be all that we can be for God and for our master Yeshua. Okay, just some words to consider today.